Hi everyone, Release Fire here. So Stone of Destiny is one of the most challenging levels here in Super Mario Maker 2's story mode. So I'm going to take you through exactly how to do that. First, obviously, you've got to grab the stone. Hopefully, this is going to help you out. If it does, drop us a like below. But I'm going to do probably the most challenging or tricky to figure out and to get. So what you want to do is get the thwomp to go over to the right-hand side, come over and press down and let go of the stone just as it's passing over the jumping stone. And that way, it'll nudge it upwards. So then you can jump on across, get it to thwomp into the blocks, take all of those out of the equations, wait for it to go over to the left hand side again, and then jump on over and grab the key. And that is the first one. And like I said, that's probably the most challenging of the, of the four keys to pick up. But the few of the others, I've got a few things to uh, take into account too. So I'm going to take you through all of those, as well as how to get like any kind of hidden coins in here. So for this one, you want to throw the stone into the grabber, into the claw hand, and that will take it around. And then when it comes back around, what you're trying to do is just do a very simple jump onto the block, just as it gets to the corner here. And then you just want to stay exactly where you are and ride it all the way around to pick up the key. And that'll give you the second of the keys relatively easily. And then it's just a case of riding back. Now getting off this is a little bit tricky too. So what you want to do is jump off around here wait for the claw to get you, you'll get stuck behind the block and then you'll stay there. So then you want to pick up the block and head on back through the door and then you've got two more keys to pick up to make it through Stone of Destiny. And these are the kind of easier ones but there's some nice rewards in particular in this room that I'm going to show you how to get. So you just want to put your block to start with down at the bottom and then get one of these uh, super sized Koopa Troopers get him to get the key and then take the block up a level and this time what you want to do is throw it over onto the level above and then jump on over and you're trying to drop it so again if you just press down and let go off the edge it'll drop it in place a little bit closer to and that way you've created a little bit of a landing pad for one of these giant Cooper troopers and then that'll smash through the wall and you can get a 30 coin and an extra couple of coins and then it's just a case of retrieving the block and heading on after the fourth key. So back through the door and it's the last door on the left hand side. This one's pretty challenging but it's pretty easy to work out what you need to do. It's just about executing this. So you need to drop the block on the, uh, well in anywhere at the bottom actually. We won't go anywhere until you like come back down. And then you want to run to get the off switch and then you want to throw it on there and that'll block off the, uh, the bullet bills and then you just want to wait for them to stop and then you can head on through, pick up the last of the keys and what you need to do is remember to pick up the stone and get moving as soon as you do because the bullet bills will start coming and then wait for this one to get across to the left hand side a bit just so that you've got enough space to be able to get across that really quick moving uh, conveyor belt and then you want to take the stone and head on down the pipe. And you need the stone for two things. One is to complete the level, so you need the stone to be able to complete it. But then the other thing is to grab this 10 coin. So if you throw the stone there, it will give you a clear path to do a small jump. Don't jump too high to be able to pick up that 10 coin. And then you can start using the keys on the doors, carrying the stone all the way. So you just keep on heading on through all of the doors. And then eventually, once you've gone through enough of them, it will kind of show you how close you are to the goal. So then you just need to go through the last of the doors, carry the stone on up and jump into the goal. And that is job done for the Stone of Destiny. Like I said earlier, hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop us a like below. All of your support is massively, massively appreciated. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and hit that bell button if you want to get notifications for all of my videos as they come out. You can see more of my videos on Super Mario Maker 2 including our full guide with the links on the right hand side, the shop's bottom left and uh, leave any comments below and I will catch you next time.